to gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, today we're going to remember uh, somebody called Julian of Norwich. And on the 8th of May in 1373, when she was 33 years old and suffering from what was considered to be a terminal illness, a woman of Norwich whose name is unrecorded experienced a series of 16 visions which revealed aspects of the love of God. Following her recovery, she spent the next 20 years of her life pondering their meaning and recorded her conclusions in what became the first book written by a woman in English. It was entitled The Revelations of Divine Love. At an unknown point in her life, she became an anchoress attached to the Church of St. Julian in Norwich. And it was by this name of Julian that she came to be known to later generations. And she died around the year 1417. So our readings and our prayers uh, will come uh, from the readings and prayers for that particular feast day. So let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Jesus says, Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so with faith we pray, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And our collect for this day. Most holy God, the ground of our beseeching, who through your servant Julian revealed the wonders of your love, Grant that as we are created in your nature and restored by your grace, our wills may be made one with yours, that we may come to see you face to face and gaze on you forever. And this we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? And supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let's declare our faith in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as together we pray, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So let us pray for ourselves and for our world. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world, and we ask you to bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life, and we ask you to give food to the hungry and to nourish us all with your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth and our life. Be with us and all who follow you in the way. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, Strengthen the sick and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life, and we give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you. We ask you to raise us with them to eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let's just have a few moments for our own private uh, thoughts, prayers and intentions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread and this wine to set before you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here and his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks that Julian became a teacher in your church. Through the gifts of the Holy Spirit of Christ, her learning shines as a burning light, a guide for all who follow the way to eternal life. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his commands, send your Holy Spirit. The broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. 
Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Julian and Mary and St. Swithin and St. Andrew and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence, just as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body of Christ broken for us. The blood of Christ shed for us. So let us pray. Merciful God, who gave such grace to your servant Julian that she served you with singleness of heart and loved you above all things. Help us whose communion with you has been renewed in this sacrament to forsake all that holds us back from following Christ and to grow into his likeness from glory to glory. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we pray, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.